Hello everybody, welcome on back to another video on the Unimich channel. Today, we have some more very exciting LEGO Summer 2021 leagues. So if you're going to enjoy the video, then I would always appreciate a like and subscription as well. But with that being said, let's begin. So we've got uh, quite a lot to actually go through today in this video. Uh, so with that being said, let's dive right into it. Now, the first thing that I'm going to quickly go over are the new Harry Potter sets. Uh, they got officially revealed today. You've probably seen these by now. However, I'm just going to quickly uh, go over them if you haven't seen them. So first off, we have the Harry and Hermione set. And it is set number 76393. This did get leaks yesterday. Uh, however, we have a much better image of it now. And... I don't think it looks too bad. Um, I do quite like the uh, buildable one that you get for Hermione. And I think that, you know, they're okay. I think that it would be really cool if we got a Galactus maybe next year. Um, and this could definitely be a setup for that. Now, the next set that we have is the buildable fork set. And this is set number 76. 394 and will include 597 pieces and includes two minifigures and those two figures are Dumbledore which I believe is new to the set and then you get that same uh, Forks molded piece uh, that came in the CMF series 2 for Lego Harry Potter overall pretty decent set it is a very similar build to the Hedwig so if you didn't like that then you're not going to like this and it does also have that same function where you can actually flap the wings and you can also rotate the head as well uh, personally this isn't really for me but I know uh, quite a few people are going to like this one because quite a few people do like uh, stuff like this. And I know Hedwig uh, did do quite well. Uh, and the next up, we have Cinema 76395, uh, the first uh, flying lesson. And this is one of my most favorite ones. It is one of the cheaper ones in this wave, but I really like it. I think it looks great. You get part of the castle and you also get Neville with a buildable Rememberall, as well as Draco Malfoy, and then you also get Madame Hooch and the Golden Quirrell figure. Now, one thing that I want to say uh, with these new castle sets is, from the looks of it, it doesn't seem as though these actually connect onto the previous ones, which I think is really sad because this would have been pretty cool to connect on. Uh, however, I'm really annoyed that you can't actually do that. Um, it's not confirmed yet, but just from looking at it, I don't know if you can, but let me know in the comment section down below uh, what you think on that. But I really like that you can actually change it all around and have it as a module building. And that's something that you can do with all of these new Harry Potter castle sets. And then the next set that we have is set number 76386. And this is the Polyjuice Potion uh, mistake and this is essentially the girls bathroom comes with 217 pieces and is recommended for ages 7 and over again really like this set i think it looks great um as for the build i quite like the sink i think that's pretty cool uh but you're not really getting too much there um and i also like the bl uh, blue uh, uh plates used for the floor as well with the color uh, and then you also get Harry, Ron, and Hermione with the Golden Harry figure. So you get two Harry Potters in the set. And one thing I want to say is uh, Hermione just come with the cat Hermione head. And then Harry and Ron, you can change their faces for Crab and Goya, which I think is a really nice play feature. So I'm really happy that you can do that. And they do come with these Slytherin robes as well, which is quite nice. And then the next set that we have is uh, the chess set. Set number 76392 includes 876 pieces. Overall, not a bad set. Uh, this doesn't connect into the any of the other castle sets, so it's just its own individual thing. And you know, I think it's fine. You get the Golden Snape figures uh, along with the Harry, Ron, and Hermione figures. I don't think that I would personally buy this one, uh, because it's just not for me. But I know quite a few people are going to like this. And the next up, uh, we have set number seven six three eight seven, and this is the Hogwarts Fluffy Encounter, and this looks really good. We didn't see. A clear image of this set yesterday we did see an image but it was quite blurry but now we have the official images and overall really like this set. i really like the fluffy i think that looks amazing and um, even though the build for the set i have to say isn't the best like the actual hogwarts uh, expansion isn't that great i think it will look better though when you connect it to the other uh, castle sets including the chamber but i really like the fluffy especially with the uh, three molded head pieces and then you also get uh, four minifigures in the set you get the golden hermione and then you get harry ron and hermione as well uh but overall decent set i just feel as though it's a bit weak by itself besides the fluffy um and it's only gonna look good when you connect it to the chamber of secrets so yeah not the best set ever uh but the next set is certainly my favorite and this is set number 76388 uh, and this is the hogsmeade uh, village visit and it includes 851 pieces and is recommended for ages eight and over Overall, I think this is the best set out of the wave, in my opinion. I, I just love it. I think that the buildings look amazing. 
I really do like this sort of stuff that Lego do. I really like the Privet Drive set. Um, and I really like these two as well. I think this is probably going to be the most popular set out of the wave, um, along with the Chamber of Secrets. But I feel as though this one will sell a bit better because we haven't seen this before from Lego. So really, really happy about that. And then lastly, we have, of course, the Chamber of Secrets. This is the biggest set out of all of the ones in the wave. Overall, pretty good set. We did see this yesterday, and I'm pretty happy with it. I think that it looks great. You get uh, 11 minifigures, which are all great minifigures, and then you also get a glow-in-the-dark and nearly headless Nick. And overall, I just think that the set looks pretty good. Obviously, the interior as well uh, is, is really nice, and overall, I'm just really happy with this set. And I really like that we finally have the LEGO Chamber of Secrets. So, really happy about that. So, those are all of the Harry Potter sets out of the way. So let's get on with uh, showing all the other Lego news that we have for today. All right, next up, we have some Lego Star Wars leaks. And uh, this isn't anything too major, but these two new uh, Lego Star Wars ornaments got revealed. And these are essentially a Christmas version of the Stormtrooper and Darth Vader. And I believe they're the ones that came in the 2020 advent calendar. So I think that's pretty cool. And then next up, we have a pretty interesting set. And this is essentially uh, the space guy in the uh, rocket suit pencil case. Um, it isn't really a Lego set, but, you know, it looks okay. I think it's quite unique uh, for Lego to do. Uh, I believe this is going to be a gift with purchase set. Um, and it's going to be exclusive in Legoland. Uh, but, you know, overall, it's okay. Uh, it doesn't really appeal to me. Uh, I think this is a bit childish, in my opinion. Um, and I don't think this is anything special, but... You know, it's fine. I do quite like the shaping and everything of it. Uh, but the next thing that we have is a brand new uh, GWP uh, set. Also stands for a gift of purchase set. And that is the uh, Monkey Kid uh, GWP. So essentially what this is, is you have a mug and a cup uh, for Monkey Kid. And I believe that they're going to have the Monkey Kid logo on them as well. Uh, but nothing too special there. Uh, now, let's get into some more exciting LEGO leaks. Uh, so, we have some brand new uh, LEGO Ninjago figure images. Um, so, we have uh, the brand new LEGO Ninjago Season 15 villain that has actually been leaked. And this is actually the second villain that has been leaked. And I gotta say, as a whole, it looks pretty good. Uh, I think that the Ninjago minifigures have been really, really nice in detail lately. And again, this is the same thing. I really like the molded headpiece, and I think that just looks great. Obviously, it is the underwater season, so it is a villain underwater. Um, and I think it definitely shows that with that molded headpiece. And also, the torso printing as well looks really good. I really like that. And then, uh, as for the legs, it doesn't come with any. It has that piece used, which I think looks really good. And overall, it just brings a really nice effect to the minifigure. Uh, we do have another picture of it showing uh, the uh, same figure from a different angle. And you can actually see a bit of the eye on the molded headpiece. I think that just looks amazing. And overall, really great minifigure. And then it comes with the purple uh, with light blue. And then it has a bit of gold on the hands as well as, uh, I believe, a golden chain on the torso printing. So... Overall, great minifigure. I think a lot of people are really going to like this figure. And I think the Season 15 figures are going to be quite sought after and pretty popular because of the amount of detailing that they've got on them. Um, and then next up, we have some brand new LEGO Marvel images. So here we have the brand new Endgame, Captain America and Punisher minifigures. Now, these did get leaked a few days ago. However, now we have some uh, better images of these minifigures. We do have some more images of Punisher as well, by the way, is, uh, showing the full figure back to front. Uh, but I just want to quickly focus on Captain America because he's actually got Mjolnir and he's got his shield. Um, and in my opinion, it's kind of unfortunate because I was hoping that uh, Captain America would come with his broken shield. However, that's not the case with this figure. Um, instead, he just comes with the, the regular shield, which, you know, I, I'm happy that Lego still included it with Thor's hammer. Um, I'm glad they're not lacking on that, but I do wish that uh, they made it a bit different and unique and made it broken. I think that would have been really cool. And then we got some more images on the new Punisher minifig, and these are HD pictures, and these are all thanks to Panda minifigs on YouTube. And 
wow, I think this is a great minifigure. I really like the detailing on the torso. It comes with the dual molded uh, black and white legs. And I also really like the face print as well with the plaster. And it does come with an alternate face, uh, which is a bit more of a happy expression. And it doesn't have the plaster on. But I think that the plaster adds a really nice effect to this minifigure. And just adds so much detailing. And I'm really happy with the way this looks. And then we've also got another image as well. I actually shown the back of the minifigure. We did see a picture of that, but it was really blurry. Uh, but this is a nice HD look at it. And I really like it. You can see uh, you've got the belt continuing onto the back there, which is done in white. And then you've just got a few of the uh, dark blue outlines as well. Uh, so not really too much detailing, but I think it, it's nice. And it does definitely adds uh, a nice aspect to this minifigure, makes it a whole lot better. Um, and overall can't wait for the daily bugle set to come out and hopefully get some more leaks soon for that uh, But with that being said everyone this is the end of the video if you did enjoy then I would always appreciate a like and subscription as well Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of all of these brand new lego leaks Are you excited for summer 2021 or not? I'll talk to you guys soon. So peace out. See you later and bye-bye